First thing tomorrow morning, environmental activist Erin Brockovich will meet with North Texas water officials, and it comes after she raised water quality concerns, sparking weeks of debate. Tonight, we are revealing results of an independent test arranged by CBS 11. Our Jack Fink in studio to talk about this tonight. Well, Kaylee, we wanted to conduct our own independent test after residents and Erin Brockovich expressed their concerns about the water quality. Both the city of Plano and the North Texas Municipal Water District say their recent tests show the water meets all federal and state standards. Hey, Mom, okay. I think that's cool. You walked. Yes. Christy Brown says last month she became concerned about her family's health after she smelled chlorine in the tap water. We stopped drinking tap water until we're sure that it's safe to drink and, and until it doesn't have the strong smell. Brown agreed to have her tap water tested by CBS 11. She lives northwest of Central Expressway and the Bush Turnpike. We did the test during the one month period in which Plano's water supplier, the North Texas Municipal Water District, only used chlorine to disinfect its water so it could prepare to kill bacteria during the hot summer months. The rest of the year, the district uses a mixture of chlorine and ammonia called chloramines. We tested for the disinfectant byproducts produced by the chlorine, which are carcinogens. The water district has said if there is prolonged exposure to them, they could cause health problems. Where we see a concern is the total HAs. Deborah Burden owns Aquano, the firm we hired in Fort Worth. Results show one disinfectant byproduct called HAAs, or haloacetic acids, were 0.062 milligrams per liter, slightly higher than the federal limit of 0.060 milligrams per liter. But the federal government says the yearly average must be lower than the limit, not just one test. We also tested for THMs, or trihalomethanes, another disinfectant byproduct. The level was 0.033 at Brown's house, much lower than the federal limit of 0.080. So the THMs came back really good. Burden says if residents are concerned, they should install a filtration system that would reduce those byproducts. Typically, the levels would be lower if they had a filtration system because it would be filtering out those byproducts. As for Christy Brown, she says she's concerned the HAAs are higher than the federal limit, but overall... I was definitely expecting it to be more out of limits, especially after the, just the amount of public outcry that there's been about it. And Deborah Burden recommends before installing a proper filtration system, people should test the composition of the water and then test the water again after installation to make sure the system is working. Kaylee? All right, Jack, thank you for that.